So g'day guys, one of the things I'm going to show in this video today is how do you upgrade a Windows 10 home device to uh, something higher like Pro or Education using Intune, something I've wondered about myself. So on the right hand side I've got a standard Windows VM, you can see I'm logging in as a local user on the device, uh, John is checking in and uh, it's just standard Windows 10 home using a um, standard installation media. If I open up the uh, the preferences, you'll see that under About, I'm running Windows 10 Home, uh, no problems there. And if I go under Accounts, you will see that it's a local administrator account, and I have not joined or registered this to uh, any tenant. Can't join it to Azure Active Directory. Uh, I can only register it. Uh, we'll do that shortly. But before we get to that, I want to uh, just show you my configuration. Actually, maybe I'll do that first. Here we go, I'll go connect. And it's going to ask me for my uh, work or school account. So it's going to use one of my demo accounts here, Neve at m365.education. Going to go validate that that's a, uh, a, a correct account. And notice here that just because I'm using Azure Active Directory Premium 1 uh, on my account here, the backdrop changes to a picture of my school, which is cool, uh, my logo along the top. So I have some visual cues letting me know that this is in fact my school that I'm logging into. I enter my password, uh, it's going to validate that, and then the device will be registered with Azure Active Directory. And given it's Premium 1, you can see that registering the device. Uh, Intune will notice this registration as well and start to apply primarily because I have uh, configured this over on the left hand side. So here is Endpoint Manager and whilst I jump into Devices I can come down to Windows and you can see some devices are already registered here. The one on the right has not yet, typically takes a minute or two. Um, as I go to Configuration Profiles this is the one I wanted to show you. I have an edition upgrade policy here. So we can see some other devices have already received this as part of my testing, but if I have a look at the properties, what do we have under the basics? We're doing an edition upgrade, uh, applying to Windows 10 and later. And if I have a look at the configuration settings, this is the most important part. So I have uh, my edition that I'm upgrading to. I've selected Windows 10 or 11 education and I've entered my volume licensing product key. So this is the sort of thing that you can get from the volume licensing center uh, that you have, and you can enter that. You do have the ability to switch out of uh, S mode if that's relevant for you as well. In this instance, I've just left it as no configuration because I'm not running S mode on my uh, Windows Home device, which we can see on the right now is in fact uh, registered, and I can see my work or school account now. And to kind of help with this demo, I'm actually going to uh, just trigger another synchronization just to kind of speed up that process now so that can go away and try to look for any applications or settings or policies that would come down to this device, including the, that of the addition upgrade. Uh, that's kind of the key that we will be looking for here. So one of the clues I often look for uh, to see whether or not the registration has completed is just new applications that will start arriving at the top once that registration is done. All right, so if I come back to my Windows devices, I discard my changes. Actually, probably the one other thing I would show you here is my assignments. And I've been really lazy. I've just assigned it to all devices. So it keeps it nice and simple. Any device uh, that is enrolled into Intune or Endpoint Manager will receive this addition upgrade policy. Cancel. Now if I have a look at my Windows devices, one way that I can check to see if the device is enrolled is just looking for the primary user UPN, and I can see in fact that Neve at M365.education has enrolled. We don't have a successfully completed check-in yet. Uh, that's what's happening in, on the right-hand side at the moment, at which point it will give us the operating system edition and so forth. We'll evaluate against compliance. Uh, and also hasn't identified ownership yet. Given that this is a registration and not a join, it will be considered a personal device like the one I have up above here. Uh, 
and the device name itself will update to the correct device name shortly. So we'll leave that synchronizing and if we were to go and have a look at home and we went to system and down to about, we can see the device name here, TC, T6G PIKO. So that will update in due course. If I refresh it, it still hasn't come. So we'll give that a minute or two and then we will see how it looks. Okay, so as we resume checking now, a minute or two later, if we go to the start menu, we can see that a number of applications have already been pushed out. Now you might be asking, how did these apps get pushed to a Windows Home device with Intune? Well, these are all Microsoft Store apps and they can be deployed using Intune itself. Okay, so that's good news. And on the left hand side, we can see our device here now, our desktop T6G PIKO, is device name is recognized, still hasn't evaluated compliance yet or reported back the operating system version. But if we click on the device, and go to device configuration where we would expect the policies to come through, we can see that a number of these have error. Now some of these are going to error because they are um, for Windows Pro or above editions and therefore wouldn't apply to a Windows Home device. But the one we are most interested in is the edition upgrade. Now notice here the product key has given an error with this remediation failed and edition upgrade status has succeeded. That's my cue that this has probably worked for us. So what I've discovered is that you do need to do a reboot here. So let's initiate a restart of our virtual machine. And notice that it's actually applying some updates. And from what I can tell here, this is actually part of that shift from Windows Home through to Windows uh, Education, and also any other updates that might have come down um, just during that update process of joining it to uh, registering it with Azure Active Directory and enrolling it into Intune. We can see some features are being added. Definitely think that's that shift from home up to education taking place. So I've left that running in real time so that you can actually see the length of time that it takes to uh, complete that upgrade. And now my virtual machine is reconnecting. Whilst it's called Windows 10 Home, we're hoping that it's no longer going to be home, but actually upgraded to Windows Education. All right, so I put in my password for my local user. And notice here immediately it's telling me I need to change my password before signing in. So that's my password complexity. Um, policy starting to apply. So my password has now been successfully changed and it's going to log me back into the device. Whilst it's doing that, if I refresh on the left, let's see what it says about that device configuration. Still gives me an error, but if we look on the uh, device itself, we go to system, about, we can see that the addition is now Windows 10 Education. So that upgrade has been complete from Windows 10 Home with an addition upgrade policy from Microsoft Endpoint Manager taking this device to Windows 10 Education Edition, just like that. So something I'd always been wondering about, wanted to demonstrate it for you uh, in a quick video. Hope you found this really helpful. Cheers, guys.